Okay, hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We're going to get on to the mountain now. Everything seems to be uh, set up. We've got all of our abilities currently set up, haven't we? Yep, 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 yep. All looks good. Um, on that note, let's get started. Off to the mountain we go. We got three positive relationships, so we're worth doing. Unites the hopeful. It were worth guaranteeing Bonnie with them, and yep, those were those are the abilities we use that it's landed Tried on, which is pretty good tested. news. A bond to be counted on. We use ounce of prevention, so not so much bloodlust, but yeah, that's going to de-stress. Okay, they're going to de-stress. The de-stressing isn't amazing, but. Ounce of Prevention will now give Boudicca super dodge, so that's pretty good. But more importantly is that we are going to be getting um, absolutely, there's no abilities locked up or prevented from being used or anything. We've got bonus healing from, um, what's it, we've got bonus heals and that from uh, our stagecoach items, so that's pretty good. Right, here we go then. There should be two Oblivion's Ingresses on the way. We want to just watch out for these. They'll be pretty nasty as well. Just as a last screw you before we get to the end here. Big fella and all. At least it's not one of them from last time. So they can be really nasty. Right. Melee skills deal less damage to him. Mm. Right, let's kill it to the back then. And let's try and ransack this to the front. There we go, that's nice. Uh, right. Let's smack this thing a bunch and get him killed. Um, I will put Ounce of Prevention on. It gives uh, Boudicca some extra dodge here. I think that he can inflict some nasty bleed, so I'm just going to try and avoid that. Um, then we are just going to go... Headlong into smashing our faces on this uh, uh, altar there. And of course, even though I've put that on, we've still been hit by all the status effects in the world. Wonderful. On to the next. I think Ounce of Prevention is still kind of dubious as to how well it works, to be fair. Right. Measured and steady. We'll start hitting him with as many status effects as we can. Okay, came clutch there, I guess. Right. This one at the back, I think, is trying to say I've got worship there, so I think he's going to try and heal him soon. Yep, there's our strength. His attack deals 50% bonus damage. Give him a smack. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Some bonus uh, burn there. And bleed. The enemy weakens and wanes. We can even go play grenade now. Yeah, that's. <laughs> That's a lot of damage over time, Jesus Christ. Oh, he's got one hit in. Look out, one hit has come in. Could be dangerous. He might get a second. <laughs> More blight. Another incision is on death's door. Every time he gets hit now, he's just likely to just kill all the dead. He's got 25% resistance. There, yeah, that's it's nowhere near enough. The 
unpleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Right. What have we got here then? Um, yep, yeah, just give him a good smack. None of them will gain his bonuses or anything, so just get in there. Let's pirouette, we'll get rid of those blocks. Open them up for some attacks from, yep, these two ladies. Right. The fiend's strength dwindles. Ah, that's nasty. It's got rid of all our blocks and things. So we pulled the one forwards though. Let's try and bleed these out. Ooh, that's not great. Um, we'll put some burning on them. Let's increase the burning. Hit them for zero, burn them for a bunch. That sundial thing coming into effect there, lovely. Um, 16. I think what we want to do now is just try and knock them closer to. Yeah, death. Right. Let's hit him with a grenade. We only hit him, but still, it's, it's damage done. We don't need this middle one hitting more. Or I didn't hit enough that the light was just keel over dead any second. Um, a nasty hit, but not that bad. Again, we blocked most of the damage there. Six turns, though, Christ. It's a bit extreme. Pirouette has got a few turns before it can be used, so we'll just move her back manually. Um, we can start working this one over for burn damage. Yep, eight a turn now, plus a bit of light. Um, I'm going to lunge her forwards, actually. Unfortunately, miss. We'll hit him with another grenade. We'll get that blight going. Nasty bonus on her. well, nasty damage over time effects on her now. Um, it isn't as bad as it looks because this has happened on her turn. We can now nicely go ahead and use adrenaline, gets rid of all the damage over time effects because we upgraded that, plus heals her for a bunch. Her hits will now heal her, so as long as she's swinging, she's staying alive. Um, that one's gone. And her pirouette is off cooldown. Excellent work. Boom. <laughs> and um Yeah, I think we just cauterize that, yeah. Let's do that. Impeccably timed. And we'll start working this guy over. I think we do want to use ounce of prevention to prevent these damage over time effects for a few turns. This one's gonna die. Excellent. Iron swan the back. Magnesium rain, there we go. Getting hit. We 
really need to get some battlefield medicine used on them now. He's on half and dropping fast. Um, this wound at least has been tended to. Right. Let's heal her, because then it'll remove the effects from our Plague Doctor, because yeah, it removes effects from themselves as well. Now we have an issue. Right. through the fatigue. Let's try and just kill him. An unavoidable end. Let's see, they're gonna be on five. We can cauterize the cauterize the cooldown. He's going. He's nearly dead. They can medicine, uh, medicate themselves here. That's how you can tell they're a real doctor when they start self-medicating. Right. The unrelenting application That's of that. yields morbid gains. Do we have one more of these? I believe we do, don't we? Or was that the second? Again, it's all blurring into one now. Yeah, we're all healed up. Yeah, I think that was a second. Yeah, it must have been. We're closing on the door now. The Collegianus Cathedral. Malign Temple of the Iron Crown. Here we go. Let's find out what the boss is. And hope that it's not a gimmick fight again. Ambition's reach forever exceeds its terrible grasp. Okay, combo, right. Round end, convert block to strength. Ravenous reach, ah, it's hands. They're all hands, aren't they? <coughs> so, we want to pirouette to the back. And we can just start smacking him. Um, yep, yeah, incision. Looks good. Oh, that's fine. We should look at the uh, effects that he has on him. Setback. Oh, it's movement based then. We've got a very movement heavy. Why are you on half already? There's a second phase, isn't there? There has to be a second phase. I think I get it. I think I get it. You've got to keep hitting him, because if you don't... At the end of the round, all these blocks that are left convert into strength. Can't use battlefield medicine, but we can heal us still with a healing salve. And we can incision here. Phase two, as expected. Now what do you do? Convert dodge. Ah. Pirouette's still got some time to for cooldown. Um
So we'll just poison that for now. <coughs> right, so she's won twice. Good. We get that in. Cooperation is the key. Start getting these damage over time effects on. Measured and steady. You're next. That's not good. Bad omen, right? <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it does bleed. Okay, a lot of bleed. Right, I need to put ounce of prevention on. There next. Because it's a lot of bleed. It's not a little bit, it's six. And he hits straight away sometimes. Jesus Christ, what's the point of the whole you're next and then insta get us anyway? I do wish this turn order would be more consistent because the fastest person here is definitely the witch doctor. Not witch doctor, what have I said? Grave robber. I'm getting them all mixed up now, right, okay. Six for two turns, six for four turns. Okay. Um. And we can't cauterize because we need to be back one. Um. Let's move her back one. Now she can cauterize. We're getting some good hits in here. Then we use ounce of not ounce of prevention, battlefield medicine on none of them are below half. God damn it. Um ounce of prevention then. They're gonna be in the danger zone next. And she's gonna freak out. Or not. Resolute. Boom. Right, let's throw a poison dart his way. Unfortunately, resisting all this. What are their resistances, by the way? They're pretty high, actually. That's why we're having some trouble. Um. It is their turn next so hopefully they can actually I don't think they'll be in they'll be low enough to use adrenaline um, yeah they're not low enough it's annoying that you have to be nearly dead before you can heal literally it's just there to make you it's, it's there to just force you into uh, dicing with death more obviously but yeah. Third phase. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's horror now, is it? Oh, and he's got repost. Is that on forever or just for... You know, is it temporary? We can find out. It's not on forever. Um, what the hell was that? Hey, you're dead now. Um, okay. Let's game a good smack, I guess. His resistances have gone down a bit more. So we might start to really hit him hard now. They've finally got their adrenaline pumping. They'll cauterize themselves and fully heal. Because we're scumbags like that. Right, and then I guess we'll... Uh, ooh, they're going to smack us back for this. Um... 
Let's put Ounce of Prevention back on. In crisis, One of the characters with higher health can take the riposte if we can get him to. Now, you need to hit him just so you can heal, so you might as well do this. Yeah, he still healed more than... Oh, mind you, then he's meant them bleed, so... Ow. Ow. We resist the bleed, at least. Not dead yet. Okay. 12 for 4 turns. Yeah, that one's looking at. Um, let's use some bandages. Because it's free. And I think if we can get some good actions in here... Yeah, they're burning for free though, so ha. 36. F you, you git. Jesus Christ. What is with these massive swings they're suddenly dealing? Okay, we need to move them there. And they're building up these reposts. They've got three now. Christ alive. Screw you, guy. The hell? It's 12 with 6 bleeds. Screw you. What the actual F is going on here? Bleed the sod. Bleed him. Just bleed the hell out of him. Hit him with every bloody thing we've got. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is this is massive overkill. So the end the end one is just oh I hit you for like 30 odd every single sodding turn. Because that's apparently fair, I guess. And now it's probably gonna kill a bunch of them. At least he's not doing that. Right. Oh but he's made them bleed. Oh for God's sake. Too bad you can't use burn salve if they're not on fire. I'd, I'd like it just for the 10% heal. Um, we've got to remember as well, we can always pass to get health back. Um, it's down to 20 odd. It's on 15. The damage over time effects could do it. This one just at least has hobble to the end. We've just got to take a bit more off of him. Did that heal him, by the way? Or is he still... Because that health bar looks a bit high for 15. Yeah, that's... He's doing something to it. Right. Smite. He's nearly gone. He's nearly gone. One more could do it. Barbarian's back in. Don't die, finish him. Yes! One death. Got him. That is honestly an ass boss fight. Just absolutely ass. So, right, what's the final stage? Oh, he just hits you for tons of damage and causes damage over time effects. Massive ones. Oh, great. Well, glad we... I mean, it's better than the stupid gimmick than, last, than the last time. But, yeah. You know, what's his, what's his thing? He just hits you hard. Great. Yeah, lovely. Is there a way of getting... I bet if I... The thing is, if you know that he's going to use Riposte... <coughs> repost, repost, how you wouldn't pronounce but anyway. If he's, if you knew he was going to do that, I'm fairly certain there are skills that get rid of it. 
I made ready to depart, imploring you to rejoin me in more wholesome pursuits. Instead, you babbled of impossible measurements, ushering me down into the bolted cellar. In the dim light, I recoiled at the preparations you had made. Four bodies laid out along the lateral points of the crown. As the dagger's blade revealed itself through my chest, I understood. I was to be the fifth. Oh, sounds like we've done a few murders. <laughs> little by little, <laughs> it's probably why we're in purgatory. Mends the rips of this sundered plane. I can see it now that in the end this is going to be all in our head or something, isn't it? <clears throat> These are beaten, broken souls. And yet our fortunes ride with them. So we could get something. Ooh, death blow resist, combat start, lose stress. Fire resistance, max HP is good. Yeah. Okay. Bask for a moment <clears throat> in the light of distant days. Yep, that'll work. When and lost, we cling sure. to what we can remember. The working fields are. Uh, we were wanting the this one. roads and roots of our kingdom find any advantage let's grab that it is done yeah that's definitely coming together now it's all glowing and stuff right spare a thought for two we'll spend the rest on these such implements will serve us well loathing resistance um, okay. Um. Yeah, we'll get another one. Field hospital, field hospital location scouting. Double the item selection when we get there. Okay. Trinkets. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. If we've got lots of baubles, remove negative tokens. A drop of sanity in mm. a sea of madness. Interesting. Right, well, there we go. That's our lot on this run. Thank you very much for watching. It looks like we are on our way to the finish line here. This is all coming together quite nicely. Um, so, I will see you in the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2, we will probably be using the... Maybe the same party. We might swap out the runaway or something. But since we've got these perks on them now. And they're pretty decent as well. So we have to use those next time. Otherwise those get lost. Um, Yeah. We'll probably use them. Again. And we'll see how far we get. Um, If we die we might swap it up a bit though. But yeah, it's been a nice change from what, what were it before now? Um, Leper, flag, uh, Flagellant, um, Plague Doctor and Grave Robber, wasn't it? In fact, no, did we... I think we replaced the Grave Robber at one point, didn't we, for... Um... No, no, I can't... I cannot remember who we replaced him. Did we, did we try it with Man at Arms at one point? And yeah, that, that was the whole thing. And Anyway... Right. Thank you very much for watching, though. And I will see you next time for another episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. I will see you then.